To model the perfect Christmas tree in SOLIDWORKS, it's easy if you know a couple of tricks. So let's go ahead and show you 10 tricks on how to do this really quick. First, we'll start with a simple cylinder. And to that, I'm gonna add some revolved shapes that'll act as tiers for my branches. I'll go ahead and turn on the temporary axis so I can see the center axis of that cylinder right off. And I'll just sketch using connected lines and arc segments, having them all automatically be tangent as I go. And naturally, I want to throw in a couple dimensions, things that I know, okay, it's about 10 inches high. I know that I want to have a radius of about 30 inches. So we'll go ahead and throw that on there. And then we'll just simply get out of the sketch. And with my S key, I can go ahead and access right to my mouse the Revolve and Extrude feature. So we'll Revolve this 360, looking great. Uh, kind of looking like a tree, except that it's the wrong color, so we'll fix that in a second. And then we'll proceed to make the other tiers. Now, obviously a linear pattern would be an efficient way to get the overall seven tiers that I want, but then I'm gonna have to make the, each one of them a little smaller as I, you know, after I do it. Or I can take advantage of the very dimension option that's available in linear patterns, been around for a little while now. So as I go, I'll say every instance I wanna vary, and then I'm gonna grab that radius dimension from my sketch and say that I wanna take three inches off of the radius every single time I pattern the instances. So you can see now with the full preview, they get that nice tiered look super fast and easy. Let's make the star next. I'm just gonna use a couple of sketch entities here, line segments. And remember when you're doing this and you get inferred relations, but they're not actual sketch relations that you wanna attach those and make sure you have those established. So let's go ahead add the symmetry and the horizontals and verticals there so we get the uh, shape that we want there. And then we're just gonna pattern this around using a circular sketch pattern. So let's grab the origin of our sketch to be the place we revolve around. And I'll go ahead and break those two line segments and I'll do it five times. Now to get those coincident, those corners, just close them by drag. Drag them together. Everything else is in relation in the pattern, so we're good to go that way. I would like to center this on the origin though. So I'll go ahead and circumscribe a circle around this. I'll pick the origin and one of the star points to connect those. And then I'll go ahead and add another coincident relationship between one of the other points of the star and that same circle. And now we're all centered. Now this is undimensioned, but I can go ahead and stretch it around. I would like an overall size to be 10 inches. So I'll just go ahead and put that first sketch dimension in there. And when you put the first dimension in your sketch, it auto scales your sketch entirely. So I don't have to worry about the unconstrained part of my star not working. It all comes together nicely because it's scaled it all up in one shot. Now to give it some thickness, we'll just extrude mid-plane, but I do want to have that beveled look. So I'll just go ahead and turn on draft. And if you do a heavy draft angle, a steep draft angle, it'll just draft all the way to a point. So that's exactly the look I want. You could play with the angle a little bit to make it a little less or more steep there, but great look and our star is finished. Ornaments are simple spheres. I can just control drag to make another copy of them right in the assembly. I'll use a different configuration for different sizes. It's real simple. In terms of placement, it's just manual like you would in real life. I just kind of go to a view orientation and then move around. Now I want to have some of these gold instead of the default uh, silver. So I'll just drag a appearance on there. And if I just pick the specific instance in that flyout dialog, I can go ahead and apply gold to just that one item.